fears are growing, U.S. citizens are again about to become prime targets. The State Department issued a new travel alert Friday, warning Al Qaeda and its affiliates are plotting attacks, especially in the Middle East and North Africa. The threat covers places Americans might gather. There are also concerns terrorists could target official interests, prompting the State Department to shut some down. Spokeswoman Marie Harf. Uh, the department has been apprised of information that, out of an abundance of caution and care for our employees and others who may be visiting our installations, uh, that indicates we should institute these precautionary steps. In all, the State Department is closing 22 embassies and consulates through Sunday, including those in Egypt, Iraq, and Yemen. After last September's attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi, Libya, which left the ambassador and three other Americans dead, Analyst James Carafano with the Heritage so Foundation a, a says this new threat desire. was only a matter of time. And Benghazi, I think, was uh, an epiphany. I mean, they saw the press and, and, the, and the weakness and the embarrassment in the United States. So nobody should be surprised that they want to come back and get an embassy again. Officials say new attacks could emanate from the Arabian Peninsula. One of Al-Qaeda's best-known affiliates, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, is active in Yemen, although the group's been under pressure from Yemen's army and U.S. drone strikes. Whether that's behind the new threats, the State Department isn't saying. But for some who study the region, just as worrisome is the need to shut embassies down, even for a day. The United States is in the world to engage in the world. You can't do that hiding in a bunker. That's a Graham Bannerman at the Middle East Institute the says bank. without open embassies, problems Don't cannot be solved. But those of us who continue to work on the area believe the relationship between the United States and the Middle East is worthwhile, and the embassies are there because we believe it's worthwhile. Also on Friday, Britain's Foreign Office says its embassy in Yemen will be closed August 4th and 5th. The travel alert for Americans will remain in effect for all of August. U.S. citizens are being told to be wary of public transportation and tourist sites. And the State Department says it is possible some embassies may have to close again. Jeff Selden, VOA News, the State Department.